Hey guys, DMIC here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. How about we uh, make some some waves here? We're going to try to make some good progress here today. We've got some weird kind of crystals on the ground. As you can see, these are able to be broken by our rock Pikmin. And we've got some kind of crystal spider looking enemies, which will, <laughs> if we could actually hit them correctly, they would suffer the same fate. So that's all that takes. You break the crystals on their back, you break their backs, and then you just carry them back away. So we're gonna probably want to... Okay, that wasn't cool. Oh, well, that killed some of our Pikmin, I think. Oh, it killed one of our red ones. That was rude. Help out, bud. So yeah, we're gonna probably start focusing on getting our rock Pikmin propagated. We need more of them. We're running a little low. I mean, I don't think I'd say, maybe low is not the right term, but, um, well, that's not what I meant to do. That's not what I wanted that pellet to be. That's okay. So we're gonna want to get the rock Pikmin up and going. We don't quite have as many of them as I'd like. We're gonna try to even the squad out. So we have a good amount of reds and rock Pikmin. So I don't think we're gonna get a proper five out of that, but that's okay. You wanna try to get the bud going when the pellet is the proper color. So in this case, if we want rock Pikmin, we're gonna wait till the pellet is gray, as you can tell. The suit is not gray, so we're gonna do that. Got a couple of fact chips here. So we already know that. I think it's, I mean, it's funny that the game kind of gives you like a, hey, do this to figure stuff out. But I mean, you could also just figure stuff out by doing it. So anyway, we're gonna send all our reds here to carry these chips because they're faster than our rock Pikmin and we wanna build this bridge ASAP. And in the process, we're going to use our remaining rock Pikmin to smash their cute little skulls against that barrier. So the... Looks like the reds actually took care of that already. So they... Wait, I think we're missing one. Huh? No? Okay. That's me trying to throw Alf. That's why I got confused. So I guess there's a few remaining pieces that we uh, can use our reds over here to pick these up. So the rocks broke through. Broke, broke on through to the other side. And they're all going to carry these pieces as a team. Build ourselves the remainder of that ramp. That's actually a really huge part of this game. There's a lot of puzzles. We'll call them puzzles. There's a lot of puzzles of that being, you know, an obstacle that prevents you from getting places. For some reason, they must have really thought that that was fun. Because there is a ton of them. I don't think it's bad. I don't think the puzzles are bad. I think that the ingenuity of the puzzle comes more from the placement than anything. So I'm assuming this connects because if this doesn't, then I'm going to be very sad. It does. Great. So this just makes us a loop, which is very nice. We're actually getting kind of close to the end of the day. So we have made a decent amount of progress. I'm going to make sure that we have all of our buddies, though as we take this second Sunseed Berry back to the Drake. So we're doing okay so far. Looks like we're missing some of our Pikmin though, so we gotta go find them before the day is up. One of the things that the game kinda punishes you for is that if you don't have all your Pikmin by sundown, they, they referring to the ones that aren't whistled, that you don't have with you, uh, get eaten by those left on the surface, those crazy critters. So I don't remember. I'm not sure where they would have gotten left at. So I feel like we took care of most everything unless there was a bit of a log jam somewhere. Never hurts to check your map. So we're going to do that. Oh, I think the map. OK. We're gonna check the map here real quick and find where our 
remaining group is. And it's going to continually tell you to go here, so... Like, we need that. I'm not entirely sure what's happening, because I think that we have the majority of our crew with us already. I'm not seeing any that are missing. I would love the game to continue to tell me to go places, thanks. So we're just gonna take a quick zoom around. I'll keep chatting while I look at this map. Very strange, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure that We've done everything correctly so far. I don't want to lose half of my squad here. So, Brittany's gonna reaffirm what I already said. We don't want that, but you do have this safety circle here outside the onion. So that's basically kind of your time limit. So that's very nice. I don't know if that's actually like a thing that's in this game, especially, but... Yeah, it says that... I don't think that we have... Unless it's referring to the rock Pikmin, where I have to go back to the the rock onion quickly. We don't want to lose all those rock Pikmin we just made. That'd be embarrassing. I'm hitting the wrong button again. All right, let's find the rock onion really quick. So that's the red onion. And... Oh, they're at the... Okay, so they're all the way back there. Hopefully we have time to make it. Oh goodness, we have to hurry. We must make haste. I'm not sure we'll have time, but I don't want to lose 32 Rock Pikmin. That would be no good. So we're going to hurry as best as we can. I believe it's this way. Is that correct? Yeah, straight ahead. So we're gonna go as quick as we can. Hopefully we can catch them all. Oh, that's the way back. Oh goodness. We have done a horrible thing. We're gonna still keep at it. I might be able to just make it if I hurry. I think that there's safety within the other onions, so I don't think that they would actually be gobbled up. I think that as long as they're within the the spawn area of the onion, that they should be okay. So I believe that's fine. I think that that should do it. A little urgency is good. The game does count down from 10, so, you know. It gives you a little bit of a, hey, get your act together kind of nudge, but, you know, we made it. We're, we're going to be safe. We'll be back inside the, the force field of safety here. We made it. We're good to go. It's kind of cool that the game sends out that little Drake alarm. I don't remember that being a thing in the original version of this game. I could be wrong, but we made it. We're safe and sound, everybody. No worries. <clears throat> we get this nice little end of the day jingle. Which I've always been a fan of. They've kept that since the original. It's pretty timeless. But yeah. We just deprived the local fauna of being able to eat our flora? Fauna? What would Pikmin be? You know, because I mean, it looks like they're a little, like... They're plants, obviously, because they have leaves, but they also seem like there's some level of, like, sentience, so... I'm not entirely sure, but we've got 
the rock Pikmin onion, and we got the red Pikmin onion. So, oh, looks like they just did a fusion. That is interesting, and it's larger now too, so. Huh, would you look at that? Red and gray together is a very nice combination of colors, right? So we got ourselves a face wrinkler, a lemon. It's a party for lemons, a lemon party. So it does appear as if they fixed the glitchy frame rate juice pouring animation, which is very nice. Looks like a lemon gets you about one and a half of those juice containers. That actually looks like a strawberry lemonade, which sounds very refreshing now that it's summertime. Love a nice strawberry or a pink lemonade. So I really enjoy that as you collect fruits in different combinations that the juice is colored based on what you collect. So the strawberry juice was, was the first juice that we have there. It's that kind of pinky color. Then the lemon is obviously that bright yellow. And then we've got kind of the yellowish red, kind of the pink lemonade of the third one, which I think is really nice. So Brittany and Elf are going to share. We've got four days of supplies. The game doesn't have a time limit, so it's technically quote unquote infinite to be able to play as long as you're collecting fruit regularly. Unfortunately, we did have one of our Pikmin pass away today because it got eaten by that stupid spider throwing that rock. I didn't even notice that that was going to happen, so that was my fault. Hopefully there's not too much exploratory negligence going on, but got a message from our boy Alf today. So let's read our day two captain's log. Back on board, we ran an analysis on the fruit we retrieved and found it suitable for copaite consumption. It looks like there's plenty more where that came from. Reuniting with Brittoni, finding this fruit. It's still early, but things seem to be taking a turn for the better. Signed, Alf. Very nice. So we're going to save. That's one of the only ways that you can do it. Don't forget, as you finish a day, you save. You can go back anytime during that day that you're playing and redo it. So just remember that. But in order to actually save your progress, you have to finish the day itself, which you can end the day at any point that you've been exploring. If you feel like you've ex got all explored out, collected all the items or broke down all the bridges, etc., whatever, you can do that. But just keep in mind that that's the only way that you can save. It's very brave of Brittany and Elf to just ingest the juice of a foreign place, but you got to do what you got to do to survive. So Brittany, ever minded on the mission, <laughs> having to having to get Elf on the straight and narrow. So, we got plenty of objectives. So Brittany is one not to mince words. So we do have two locations now. We have the Garden of Hope and we have the Tropical Wilds, but we're not quite ready to go to the Tropical Wilds yet. As you can see, we still have a little bit more progress we can make now that we have control of the Rock Pikmin. There's that little fun fact that it told you about Sprouts, that if you leave the captain near, they'll pick them up automatically, which is very nice. So what is very good about this game is that they consolidated the way in which you play. So in the previous games, there were onions for the various types of Pikmin, or you would call them from the ship. In this game, you don't have to do that anymore. They're all in one spot. So I think that's really effective and it helps to kind of get things going, speed up the game a little bit. You won't have to, I mean, it's not a huge deal that you might have to, you know, use various onions to, come on guys, get all that that sweet juicy nectar. There's like one, one there we go. 
one rock Pikmin leaf. You want to try to flower all your Pikmin as fast as you can. Obviously, they will do it on their own over time. It's a much slower of a process. So just keep that in mind. It's not going to work any quicker if you don't use the nectar. So use that to your advantage. So we're getting a ping here. Potentially from Charlie. We'll find out. So we're going to keep heading this way. Now, we've got a new enemy in this area that we're going to be very, very careful with. And the game already gives you a huge heads up by telling you that they are resistant to fire. So, there's something that we have to take care of here. It doesn't hurt to split up your squad and only bring a certain color if you have a certain type of enemy that is dangerous. So in this specific case, we have a classic Pikmin enemy. These are Fiery Blow Hogs. These guys are highly dangerous, especially if you've never played the game before. If you're not paying attention and you're not careful, these guys will give you a rough go. They will shoot fire out of their snouts, trunks, whatever you want to call that. And they will burn your Pikmin alive. So we're going to have ourselves a duo captain puzzle here in a moment. So we'll worry about that here shortly. So we got the blow hogs out of the way. We have another enemy over here, but we'll worry about that in a moment. So we're going to get all the rest of the Pikmin. We've got Brittany and Alf hanging tight. So just kind of like what we did earlier, where we used Brittany to have um, to get one of the fruit. We can do that again. So we can throw Brittany over. We can throw Pikmin to her. In doing so, in doing this sort of toss across, and then we can switch to the other captain with the button that I don't remember. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. So this is bad. We don't want to do this. We're going to have to fix this here in a moment. So now you're seeing what happens when you get Pikmin in the water. Hopefully we can save them. Thanks, game. I already have more of that. All right, guys, come on. All right, they're safe. They are safe. Whew. So that was a huge mistake. I don't remember what the button is for switching captains. We will... Um... Maybe it is... Nope, that's to throw. I'm at a loss for a moment. I think we switch... Okay, so that's how we switch captains and we don't murder our Pikmin. Great. It's the Y button, everybody. Who'd have thunk? I promise this is not my first time playing this game. Although it might seem like it. But that's just me being basically inept at video games. So that's fun, right? But no worries. We've basically almost completed the bridge already. But it seems like we're missing some of it. And the other half of it is very rock heavy. So. We're getting a very spooky. <laughs> spooky forewarning of what's happening. So we're going to switch back to Alf here. We need to throw a bunch of rock Pikmin over to this side. So that way Brittany can use them to break down that glass crystal structure. We're just going to throw all of the Pikmin because Alf will be over there eventually. There's not really anything he can do right now. So now that we at least know the basic mechanics of this game and we're not playing like a gosh dang fool, we're going to use our rock Pikmin. It looks like it actually only lets the Pikmin that are suitable for that environment to go after, which I think is really interesting. If you notice, it didn't send any of the reds, so... That works out really well. So that actually builds that bridge. It gets us where we're going. We can go grab Alf. And it looks like we've gotten pretty much everything taken care of. We've torn down that bridge. We have knocked the wall down. I don't sort of shouldn't have said torn down the bridge. We built the bridge. You don't tear down bridges. I mean, I guess you do, but that's not what we're doing. But 
What I actually do want to do is we will have to head into that cave eventually. But one of the things that I'm going to just give you a heads up about is there might be something nasty in that cave. There might be something unsavory. And we are going to want to expand the rock Pikmin volume that we have. We don't have enough rock Pikmin to do what is potentially upcoming. So we're actually going to use these guys over here, these enemies. We're actually going to split up because that particular enemy is kind of nasty. And um, we're going to try to split up. This game is giving me fits right now. I say that I'm going to blame the game like it's the game's fault that I'm just absolutely being a fool. Anyway, so we're going to use Alf, and this is going to be something that we'll just do. We'll tidy this up right before we finish this episode. So the game told you that Rock Pikmin do not get crushed when they are trampled on. Or in this case, I guess, belly flopped on. However you'd like to frame that for yourself. So these guys, I believe are called Gollywogs. And, well, we don't want that. But we want to rush them and carry their corpses back for more rock Pikmin. The upcoming dangers that are going to be in that cave are definitely going to be rock Pikmin averse. So we'll want to have a primarily rock Pikmin team just based on my knowledge of what's coming up. I don't want to spoil anything, but. So yes, this is Alf telling you something that I mentioned before is that the onion can have a maximum of 100 Pikmin out on the field. After that, it just stops sending stuff. So, oh, it's a Wallywog. I called that something wrong. Okay, anyway, so that's a Wallywog. That's what that is. And then uh, while, we're, while we're at it, we'll just take out this last sand structure. We'll switch to Brittany now that we know how. So we're not a complete fool, which is very nice. So we're probably going to be looking at a... 70-30 split in terms of rocks and reds. So we're going to want to primarily have rock Pikmin, but having red Pikmin is definitely going to help. We're going to check over here to see if there's anything I missed. There's those leaf bugs that I believe if you attack them, they give you some nectar. But aside from... Did I miss somebody? Aside from that, we're doing pretty good. There's one Pikmin hanging out around here from somewhere. We're missing one of them. Right. But yeah, I don't remember there being... There he is. I don't... Well, that... Okay, apparently that was not it. We're missing someone. Who... Who in their gosh dang mind is being a heckin' fool around here? Just hanging around. Somebody is having a bit of a joy ride on our behalf. There's no freeloaders in Pikmin land, I'll tell you that. But we actually do have a need for this nectar that's over here now. So that's actually really good. We can gather this up. You're going to want to have a mainly nectared force for what's going to happen soon. We're going to try to get all of these guys flowered up. It's very good to... Try to do that as often as you can. All of your Pikmin to be ship shape. Hopefully I'm not making you all too dizzy with how I'm shifting the map around, or the screen, I guess. I apologize for that if it's getting people all willy-nilly. I'm not entirely sure where that one Pikmin might have gotten to, but I thought we had everybody. I don't like to leave anybody behind, but... Huh. Quite strange, wherever that one is, hanging out. Well, that's not a big deal. We'll come back to that. Oh, they're right here. There they are, little rock Pikmin. That's not doing what I needed it to do. Okay, okay. So, next time I'm gonna reassemble the squad and then we're going to head into that cave and look for Charlie and hopefully we'll find him. So thanks for watching everybody. This has been Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I've been D-Mike. Have a good one everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.